Here this will be a video chart on PCFG. Done quite a few videos on this one, and then today had a was a really good day, and then you know the the profit takers definitely stepped in and forced the price back down. I mean it was still green on the day and all that good stuff, but um, you know I'm sure people would have liked to see it close up a little bit higher than what it did relative to where it opened. Uh, but then again, to where it closed on Friday, I'm sure nobody's complaining about that either. Uh, but I want to get the chart broke down here, and that way everybody can kind of have an idea of what's going on, uh, at least from the technical perspective. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is, uh, because I had a lot of the kind of longer term players asking about, you know, what does the chart look like now that that's, this has happened? And really, uh, the, the easiest way to address that question is simply to watch this tread line right here. Now, why is this tread line important? I'm going to make this extra thick because it is a very important tread line. Well, that is because if this chart's going to get back into an uptrend, then this is a line that's going to need to hold. The only reason this line has been uh, or was possible to draw was because we had a low here, and then this move uh, up on the pullback, it put in a higher low. That's the only reason that th it's possible to draw this trend line, and that's the name of the game, higher lows. As long as charts are putting in higher lows, then an uptrend is possible. So... Um, sure, this day wasn't, if you're looking at this day just all alone, yeah, it wasn't the, the greatest thing, but if you kind of broaden out your view a little bit, uh, then the chart's got some hope now because it does, it has put in a higher low. It's got the beginning of this trend line, uh, so we'll see what happens now. Does that mean that this is for surely going, you know, back up to 10 cents? I don't know about that. There's still a lot of work to be done, uh, but as long as it can hold this portion of the trend line now as time goes on. Uh, then you know that's going to be a sign that the bulls are gradually uh, you know gaining more and more strength. So keep your eye on that trend line. That is definitely the key level of support. Now in terms of resistances, uh, the one that got you today was just the good old famous 50-day simple moving average, which is that purple line there. Uh, you know that's one of these. You can see it knocked down the price up here. So it's uh, you know it's struck before, and you know it strikes all over the place within the world of charts. So. Uh, you know, not the end of the world that the 50-day knocked you down, but uh, this is going to be the level to keep your eyes on in terms of resistance levels and what you want to see the price close above. Uh, intraday, yes, you did break above it, uh, but at the end of the day, when we're looking at daily charts and so forth, uh, we care about where the close is, and the close, you know, obviously wasn't above it. Uh, but if the bulls can get up here and start to put some closes above this level, then that's really going to bode well for the chart. But going back to the first point I was making, uh, the chart is going to gain the most strength and start to look the most attractive if this trend line can hold. So yeah, you know, the price could f fall back down, but if it finds a low here before heading back up, that's great. If it falls down here before heading back up, that's great. You can see that this uptrend line is going to continue, and before you know it, it's going to be, you know, making hires through or higher highs through these levels. So it all really goes back to that trend line. Now, the last thing I want to end on is just definitely did have a nice volume bar today. So hopefully this continues to increase, but... Uh, you know, I don't know, maybe the company put out news or something, but uh, keep your eye on volume. There's definitely a lot of interest in the stock today. So if volume can uh, increase or at least stay, you know, relatively bigger than, you know, what all these days have been, that'd be a great sign. But it was also good to see volume come in uh, today, too. So the week is young. We'll see uh, what happens. But just once more, I don't mean to be re uh, repeat myself a bunch of times, but just keep your eye on that tread line there. If you do have any other questions on the chart, uh, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go in there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get charts set up, straight ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety of stuff for everybody. It is all free. We've been making some good money together on our alerts. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and give it a try. One more time, this is PCFG. Thanks for listening.